Hey everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are taking a closer look on how to create custom circular checkbox using just HTML and CSS. So let's get started. Here we have a div element with the class wrapper. It is used to group and contain the set of checkbox. Next we have a div element with the class checkbox. Next we have an input element that creates a checkbox input field. Here the type attribute is set to checkbox and the ID attribute identifies the checkbox. Next we have a level element that is associated with the checkbox through the for attribute. Here the remaining lines will repeat the structure of the checkbox. The level element for each checkbox with different IDs like A, B, C and D, E, E. Now let's search CSS. Let's target the HTML and the body elements. Here height is set to 100%. Margin is set to 0. It removes the default margin that browser might apply to the HTML. Now let's tell the body element. Here display is set to flex. Align item is set to center. Background color is set to dark blue color. Next, we create a radial gradient background. Next, style the wrapper. Here, margin is set to 0 and auto. So, that is center the wrapper horizontally. Height is set to 40 pixel. Text align is set to center. Now let's target the element with the class checkbox except for the last one. Here display set to inline block so that it make the checkbox inline. Margin right is set to 40 pixel so that it add a right margin of 40 pixel. Now let's target the class checkbox. Here position is set to relative. Now let's target the level element. Position is set to absolute. Top and left is set to zero so that it can align the level of the top left corner. Width is set to 40 pixel. Height is set to 40 pixel. Next we set the background color to white, same as um, border, border radius is set to 50% so they create a circular shape, cursor is set to pointer, transition is set to background color. 300 ms is, is and color is set to 300 ms is 
and box shadow is set to 300 ms each. Now let's target the shadow element. Here content is set to an empty content. Position is set to absolute. Crop is set to 38%. Left is set to 33%. Width is set to 29%. Height is set to 14%. Opposite is set to 0 so that it may Tick shape initially transparent. Border left is set to 2 pixel solid white color. Border button is set to 2 pixel solid white. And transform is set to rotate minus 45 degree so it rotate the line to form a check mark shape. And transition is set to Opacity 300 millisecond is so that it adds a smooth transition for opposite. Now let's target the input element. Here visibility is set to hidden so that it hide the actual of checkbox input. Now let's target the level element. Here background color is set to sky blue color. Border color is set to sky blue color. And the box shadow is here is set to raised appearance to the checkbox. Now let's start in the after shadow element of the level. Here opacity is set to 1. So that it the tick shape to 1 when the checkbox is checked. Making the tick visible. Now let's target the first checkbox element. Here background color is set to sky blue color, border color is set to sky blue. Now let's target the second checkbox element. Here background color is set to yellow, border color is set to yellow. Now let's target this third checkbox element. Here background color is set to green color, same border color is set to green color. Now let's target the fourth checkbox element. Here background color is set to orange color. And the border color is set to orange. Now let's target the fifth checkbox element
here background color is set to pink color and border color is set to pink color So that's it for today's video. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more web development tutorials.